From Requiem to Reconstruction, Interview with Arida Awada Volume 4 Post Date, 08-20-2017 Amichan Ryokuen brought us a handmade certificate of commendation. The importance of communicating from Fukushima now I was taught that no matter how painful or sad something may be, the day when you stop crying and decide to live on, including for the person who has passed away, is called graduation. After this day, Mr. Awada once again appeared for interviews. Interviewer, Minoreo Matsuo slash Nick Ken Sunday August 16, 2016, Arida Awada born on March 28, 1955. Family of four, including wife, eldest son, and eldest daughter. Former radio announcer in Fukushima, programming director. Currently freelance announcer. Author, scheduled to publish Owada Notes, The Importance of Communicating, The Splendor of Communicating, in September this year. I'm sure there were heartwarming stories even in the midst of the sadness of the earthquake, but was there anything that made you happy or moved you? Owada, it's a shame because I could have brought my book here if my lecture in Hawaii had been delayed for two more weeks. In creating this book, Himika's parents, children, wives, and families, and bereaved families of those who died in the tsunami did not have a single complaint regarding the use of their photos. I was really happy that they told me to use it as I wanted. When publishing the book, I contacted close to 50 people one by one and asked them, can I use this photo from this moment? But not one person said, let me think about it, or no, or no, the publisher who was really happy about this was also surprised. What was the title of the book? Owada, I named it, Owada Note. After the earthquake, I saw a lot of bodies and went to various sites, but some of them were filled with sadness and pain that I couldn't express on air or write. I wanted someone to know about this and reduce the pain and sadness in half. Up until then, I had been sending photos I had taken on my flip phone every day right after the earthquake to an essayist named Kaneko Oishi, who is in a wheelchair and whom I greatly respect. Mr. Oishi counted over 6,000 notes, which Mr. Oishi saved in a file called Owada Notes on his computer. That's why I titled my book Awada Notes, the subtitle was The Importance of Communicating and the Wonder of Communicating, these are Ami-chan and Ryo Kuen, who had an older sister and younger brother who were in the 6th and 4th grades of elementary school at the time of the earthquake, when the Fukushima nuclear power plant exploded, their father remained in Fukushima, and their mother, Ami-chan, and Ryo Kuen. I evacuated to Saitama Prefecture. But on the third day, Ryo said, Mom, let's go back to Fukushima, Mom said, eh, why? We can't go back to Fukushima because the nuclear power plant exploded and the radiation levels are high, is however, Ryo said, I want to be with my father more than the radiation that it's more painful not being able to be with my father than the radiation, Ami-chan Ryo Kuen kept waving at all the cars passing by on the national highway in front of his house. Ami-chan Ryo Kuen was also featured on the cover of Fukushima Prefecture's public relations magazine. The mother evacuated to Saitama for the sake of her children, and although the radiation that was not helping her children was stressful, not being able to be with her father was even more stressful. When I called her father, he naturally said, it's not good because the radiation level is high, but their mother persuaded them, saying, Ami and Ryo are serious. I want to be with your father, and so do I. I want to be with you. We promise not to leave the house, Ami-chan and Ryo Kuen's house faces the national highway in the middle between Fukushima and the disaster area. When I returned home, I saw hundreds of reconstruction vehicles from the self-defense forces, police, and fire departments running on the national highway in front of me every day. Ami-chan and Ryo Kuen are surprised to see that the national highway in front of their house, where only a few dozen vehicles used to pass a day, now has hundreds of vehicles from the self-defense forces, police, and fire departments every day. Ami-chan and Ryo Kuen talked together and said, okay, let's wave, they spent an hour in the morning and an hour in the evening on the way home, waving at every car that passed by on the national highway in front of their house. In the morning, I kept waving, welcome. Thank you. In the evening, welcome back. Thank you. At first, the self-defense forces and the police just thought it was a small child waving at them every day and didn't pay any attention to them. However, one day, Ami-chan Ryo Kuen started hand-drawing a handwritten board to her by holding it up with both hands. Then, the self-defense forces, the police, and the fire department started stopping in front of Ami-chan Ryo. This is because the self-defense forces and police come from all over the country, including Okinawa, Shikoku, and Hokkaido. Every day, children the same age as their own raise their hands in the rain of radiation and say, welcome back, welcome home, and thank you. He's holding up the board. I'm so happy that I stopped the car and hugged my child, knowing that a child the same age as my child is working so hard for us. Every day, the self-defense forces and the police look at dead bodies with no limbs and eyes and perform autopsies, something they never want to see. However, when I pass by there on my way to and from work, I see children waving and saying thank you, and thank you, with all their might. 
Ami-chan Ryokuen did this every day for two years. However, my mother said not to do so on a rainy day because the radiation level would be high, but I put on two of her gloves, her hat, a mask, goggles, and rain boots. And the two of them were waving. Her girlfriend Ami-chan, Ryokuen, brought her handmade certificate to Radio Fukushima. It read, Certificate Arida Awada, the importance of conveying the message, the wonder of conveying the message, she used this wonderful phrase as the subtitle. Continued, Volume 5. 